Johnston bring us in Leader Hatchet, Alabama today. Uh, we want to appreciate uh, the farm and the farm manager, Alan Haney, for having us here today. We've been filming our videos. It's going to be part of the series you'll get to see here soon. But we thought we would take a minute to uh, introduce Alan and ask him a few things about the about Johnston Brangus and the farm. Alan, can you tell us a little bit about the, the operation of the farm as a whole? Uh, as a whole, we have two divisions. We have a commercial side of it where we uh, run about 1,600 head of mama cows. Uh, the purebred side, we're at 350 to 400 as of today and plan on expanding it and also plan on expanding the commercial side. We also have a place in Argentina and it is also a cow calf operation and a yearling operation and root crops. Uh, here we're nothing but cow calf and a little bit of hay just enough to get them through the winter. 2,000 head keep y'all pretty busy year pretty, round, pretty, pretty busy. Good deal. Alan, tell us a little bit about uh, y'all's um, heifer development program and uh, the different uh, ways y'all are marketing here. As far as the purebred side, now of course they're creek fed from the time they're old enough to eat and then when we wean them they're on a 13% growing ration through creeping and they keep them on that till they're yearlings. At a yearlings we get uh, ultrasound data scan them and then from there they go on to a developer with a limiter where they're limited to 10 to 13 pounds a day uh, to prevent them from getting too fat. Um, they also have free range of the fescue which we have for the cool weather and we have native summer grasses for the summer months of the year. Um, we don't push them extremely hard but we push them hard enough to get our numbers to where we want them, where they need to be as far as the purebred operation. The commercial side is not creek fed at all. They're weaned anywhere from seven to 10 months old, and then they are preconditioned for 60 days. And the exact same thing happens there. They stay on a growing ration until we are through with the breeding season. And so when we're through with the breeding season, they become on the developer with a limiter and then usually that ends in February and they're on nothing but native grasses from there on out. Alan, are y'all doing any AI work on the commercial heifers? We do AI on all of the heifers um, and we do uh, AI on all of the purebred cows. What about your marketing? How are y'all marketing both you purebreds and the commercial heifers? The purebred side of it, we're a member of what used to be Gene Trust. We're now changing names and separating the um, top end of the heifers we usually put in the sale that usually is held at Cavenders in Jacksonville, Texas. Uh, we have two sales there and that's where some of the heifers will go. Some of them retain here to be as our replacements. And on the commercial side, we precondition, we keep what we have to keep for uh, to keep our numbers up, which usually is anywhere from 100 to 200 head. And then we will market another 300 head as replacements. And nine times out of 10, they wind up in Texas because uh, we are one of the few that breed bring us to bring us and have the true bring us. Alan, what are your selection criteria for your heifers? When you're, when you're picking what's going back into your herd or what's going to Texas to sell, what, what do you look at? Are you looking at structure? Are you looking at genetics? Are you looking at temperament? All of the above? Or? Um, pretty much all of it. Um, Temperament is a big part of it, uh, especially the purebred side. I'm extremely tough there. Uh, commercial side, I can stand a little bit of foolishness, but not a lot. Um, um, and we handle them just a little different than probably most people. We don't hoop and holler. We don't use hot shots. and uh, We can get along with them just as well as probably a Holstein cow. <laughs> Do y'all ever market any open heifers or is it strictly bred heifers? No, no with pretty much everything we market is open heifers. The uh, commercial side we sell is open. Nine times out of ten, they're going to a person who is going to put them on grazing, AI them, and either keep them or they go into a replacement female sale. Um, of course, the purebred side is... Uh, we do the same thing. We do market some open heifers at the beginning and we do market a few open heifer, uh, bred heifers, uh, but not a, not a lot of them. Most of them are sold as open. Well, Al, we want to say thank you today for having us out again and uh, having the opportunity to work with you and, and get to see some things here at the farm today. Uh, we've enjoyed working with the cattle doing our filming today and uh, always a pleasure to get to come over here. Um, Mr. Alan Haney with Johnston Brangus uh, Cattle and um, Mr. Watt Johnston is owner. Thank you.